Okay, I'm back, and yeah, basically for this, I just gotta like rest until eight o'clock tomorrow, the following day. So yeah, let's get it done. And I'm just wondering, when is it that I get my uh, free color? Oh, what? Well, as I said, whatever her name is, cause I know. Is it her that we're getting free or is it someone else? I know someone will get free, but if it is her and I already have her, do I, would it still be the same as when you're getting it as the gotcha? If you get a second one, you get the other stuff. So, well, I'll see when I get to it. Hopefully, I'm right. Okay. Until 8 o'clock the next day. Uh, Okay, I think I did start this, well, before it was 12, so I just got to wait to 8, right? Yeah. If this doesn't work, I just have to do a full 24, 24 hours. <sighs> yep. Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Pale, and still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Yeah, hope. And it's Kali. I keep forgetting. I think Kali and all that is Kali. You need to remember that. Okay. Whee! Hmm. You hear Kali? Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Well, I have been out all night, standing around doing nothing, so, yeah, you would be a bit worried. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Why? What's wrong? You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? Uh... No. No need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. And that is what? Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. So she overexerted herself. Is that what you're getting at? I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. Mm. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Mm. Okay. So, where are we going? Uh, we are going down here. Ah, it's one of those two. Alright, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? Basically just right behind where she's sleeping. How does that work? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. Hmm. So word gets around. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Because... Well, because Kale asked me to. Oh. So she trusts us that much. Okay. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. Thank you. <laughs> so Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. 
Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. What? Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. Uh. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Ah, uh, so that's why... <clears throat> She doesn't pick up, carry things and get things off shelves. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Apparently. Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Oh, that's... Come on, that's not fair. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. Oh. What? The Fatui? I was wondering when they was going to get involved. Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. Hmm. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Ah. Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. No. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. No. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Yeah. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. I will. No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Hmm. Hey, Tainari, where exactly are we going to find?
find this plant? Lunar lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. <laughs> oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. No, Tapaimon. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Tainari. <laughs> well, at least it's not like the other thing that you normally do. No, no, Tapaimon. Do not anger Tainari. <laughs> Okay, um, wait, I'm just checking something, so I'll be right back. Alright, that's good, everything's fine. Okay, let's, eh, let's get to work. Yeah, Here I come! Yeah, I haven't actually, it didn't turn me back yet. I so should have done it. I should have done before I left the uh, health. Before I came to see the light. Hey! Just push them back. Yeah. Push them back to animal. Yeah. So the things are gonna be around the wall. Yeah. Basically drown them might be the best bet. <laughs> the so enemies. Or if it's war based animals, monsters then Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. As much. Uh, uh. Uh. Just see how things go. Hey, get down here. Yeah, nowhere to hide. Yeah, nowhere to hide. If you stay up there, I bring you down. Yeah, incinerate! <laughs> Don't blink! Good? There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. Eh, that should be easy. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Yeah, because I kind of already saw them. Right over there. Grab a few more. Now let's never go. Hey, Tainari, we found the lotuses you requested. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Like. What, you couldn't find things on the water like that, like, right behind us? Hey, Tainari! Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. <laughs> ah yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Okay, let's go. Ok, 
Okay, what's up? Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area, so we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. No, we can help. Wait, Kainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. Yeah, and this is a good way to get familiar familiarized with it. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the Withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Uh, I don't have a vision, but I use elemental powers. Does that still count? Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. Well, I can ma manipulate elements. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it but you don't seem to carry a vision. But I can control elements. Don't worry, she may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm, it seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today <laughs> and show you what it looks like up close. Good, so I can deal with it later. Hmm. So yeah, does that mean that I'm going to come across this quite a few times already? And my journey's in Samaru. Oh, Is it going to be fun or is it going to not be fun? Stop. Don't move any further. Look there, in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Is it that red globy thing? Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Huh. Got it. Thank you. But I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. And I bet it's not gonna be my last. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the Withering Zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. So, um, does that mean that you lose health the longer you stay in there? You ready then? Let's go. Is that, is that what he's trying to say? First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Okay. Then what's this? Uh, 
Why did I just summon? I have no idea. Okay, so I, incinerate. As I said, I, I do lose health. Cut to the chase. Shocks, which I do not have any on me. Oh, great! And I can't switch. So I'm gonna have to keep a boat user on me. Barbara. Probably best take you out for now. Uh, you know I want to keep her in. I don't. I don't know. Well, this will be interesting. Fine, I'll just get Kaya. He's the highest yeah. out of everyone so far. Ah, wrong way. Wait, no. Seriously, what am I doing? Gaia does not have... Why did I get this wrong? Gaia does not have a bow. Seriously, I have to get stuff. Gaia, go away. It's time Fine. to pull Yay the long. trigger. You, I know, definitely has a bow. Now I've got two waters. Two hydros. I'm leaving and coming back, seeing what. I'm not catching what it actually says. Does I attack the wither?
no idea. So aim shot. So basically. Next time, be okay. sure to make a proper yeah, appointment. But what did I have to do with machine? It says I gotta collect stuff, but Get what was happening? I mean, I'm. Just, I still don't have no idea. It's time to pull the trigger. <sighs> okay, they went. Okay. Got these again. I'm supposed to do second that thing. the small ones I go for. Not the big one. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Change of plan. Yeah, be going on. of the withering. Oh, so I don't attack it, I just oh, click on it mm. to destroy it. Mm. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Okay, so that took a bit, but I learned something. Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. 
You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? Pretty much. All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the Withering Zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that Withering Zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The Withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the Withering Zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of Withering Zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. So what? Is there a connection? Huh? But well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? Nope. Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Oh. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansoul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Hmm. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin Soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. Uh oh. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarbaville. Yeah, let's go. Gotta give Kole her cure. Ha! Well, her treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going the right way, good. Yeah, I'm not prepared. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into Let the show begin. A natural. It's probably gonna be tired. Because I've How did that do so much damage? Because what I've seen so far with trying them out, huh? he's actually the better one. But then again, it's probably how they how you equip them and all that. But hmm. ah, I'm still new. I haven't got a lot of artifacts and stuff, so I just go with what I got. Right. 
We're going to blend it. Wee. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Nah, can't. Can't get her up yet. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? It's a parrot. Oh no, Hapasia! A what? I saw a few of them what? on the way here. What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Huh? Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. <laughs> Paimon's impatient. Yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gundarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. So basically she just eats food. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait. Well, obviously, because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I prefer not to remember that. So what? It's basically how many lines she draws is how long she's gone without, without food. So that was five days without food. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. You put me on the spot right now. So, how do you feel? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that she would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. Why, what I see? My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Okay, then what I see? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermensoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermensoul itself. What? I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermensoul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. Yeah, probably because she wanted to just meditate. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Ah. Uh. Please, wait here for a moment. And...
and what? Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. <laughs> no. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Yeah, I gotta find the cave over there. But mm, even though No, not that I see. Ah. Yesterday, a total of five dusk birds flew by. Can I? Oh, catch is great. Huh? And I can do it in midair. Hmm. Oh, I couldn't get a third one. Go, Barbara, go! Don't look up two. Hapatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Yeah, you said that already, Paimon. Why are you saying that again? food. That that thing. Uh, is it challenging me? Or what? What's going on? Left. Hypatia, are you all right? Ah, uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> eat water. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Uh, does the fog mean is getting dangerous? Or what? Huh? How'd things out here end up looking like this? Wh what happened? And where are we? <laughs> I have no clue. Really? Oh... Maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. See what we find. Uh, I can tell we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, everybody get up. Barbara, go! And then I gotta work on stuff. Wow! 
This place is huge! Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Okay, well, let's get this box first. How was I so... Speed of light! Oh, I have got to switch her back. One step back, two forward. Wait. Incoming! Let's go back in. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Wait, we're in domain? So I can switch. Great. If I knew this was gonna be the main, I would have switched earlier. Domain, I should be able to come back there another time. Whoa! Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, but, 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 where am I now? Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? I have no clue. We can do it. Okay, let's start healing. Spot, one place. Oh, now I'm inside. I don't know. Oh, is that gonna be a, like. Really, that's gonna be a puzzle I'm gonna just solve. Figure out what I'm doing. Uh, happens. When, I'm, when, I, when I jump, it doesn't allow me to glide. I'm not that far off from... <laughs> off the floor, right? So, it says that I can't glide from it. What? Oh, come on! Shouldn't I get... Shouldn't I shouldn't be able to get to that. Dang you! Ah. 
their trampolines. because he said I have to go down there. Ah, but there's a chest up there. Haha, <laughs> gimme! Okay, now let's go. <sighs> really, Subaru is a lot harder to... or complicated to... navigate than... Then all the other places that I was at already. Hmm. Well, did I just lose back around? I see. 
<laughs> okay, I'm done. Oh, whoa. No, no, I want that box. Give me that chest. Let me down. No. Can I, can I still go back? I th no. I want that chest. Uh. What? Yeah, they hurt. Oh. Hey. No, oh, because I'm swimming. Back here, which is good. So I can make my way back here and I can get that chest. I ain't leaving it behind. <laughs> ah, good. You can still get it. Now I ain't going through you again. That's a long journey. I've already been there. Whoa. Take it easy. Okay, we're going up. Let's play on a little trampoline. Whee! Is it taking me? Well, again. Really, enough already. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the floor kind of didn't load in right there. Come on, we can do well, it. Cause lucky enough, I didn't fall through. Cause that would have been a nightmare. What in that is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. So good. Uh, it's probably all this. I don't know, jumping around and all that. Mm. So, yeah, can't go out there. Investigate the courtyard. Uh. Can I? Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, what? Seriously, what the hell is going on? It's not letting me do anything. Am I supposed to be in interacting with this? Uh, 
Ow, what did I do? Okay. Okay, there. Now I got all that. And I still can't do anything with that. Oh, wait. Drop. I can't even leave. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Do I need an animal? And I can't even do anything. Do I need to blow them things away? I knew beforehand what I would need. I would have done it before even coming in here. come back with an animal, right? I think that's right, but... But then again... Then again, it might actually help. Okay, I'm back. Oh! Okay, now I understand it, which... I was completely wrong. It was one of these puzzles, which I basically went out and back in just for no reason. Oh, and that's the... it becomes a picture. <laughs> so basically I got him for nothing. <laughs> uh, seriously, going through Sumeru is kind of a pain getting used to everything. See that. And I did find out that you can fall through the floor at this point. When the world isn't loaded in yet, you can fall through the floor. Yeah, I found that out oh kind of the hard way. Well, not really the hard way, but still. <sighs> okay, if I go. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we meet again, traveler. <laughs> and what the hell are you doing here? Ah, I 
at least put a couple things with at least three is my normal. Normal yeah. one. But then when I went out, I got the game on and put me on favor. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know why. It's as I said, I need to start using hey. the gold character. Which. I need to start working on one. Incoming. Which hopefully by next episode I will actually have uh, a full character that I'm actually working on. With sword from shadow. Ah. Got lucky that. You're supposed to stay and fight. Yep, he's doing it too. Then he only gets to the point where he's going to do the free. And then the four, right? Incoming! Oh, they still should go down easy. It really tele telegraphs what moves he's using anyway, so... And if I can stay behind him, it's going to be a lot easier too. Speed of light! Nowhere to hide! Don't blink! Hey! Come on. You should be doing the free about now, right? Resistance. Yeah. Oh wait. The end. Okay, yeah. Nah. Now he's gonna be doing the Change spray. plan. For... Don't blink! Huh? Yeah, I've got can a shield to work work with. Which Oh So I didn't have to take a shield out. Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Hey, who said I'm weak and powerless? Your brother. <laughs> Oh, pitiful traveler, are you really so ignorant, or are you just living in complete denial? See, and this is why I say, regardless of what you pick, apart from a few minor ones, it goes in the... It basically plays in the direction you want to go. I just said my journey's not over yet. I didn't say anything about my brother. His Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Really? He said that? I doubt it. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! No! Ain't nine yet. What's going on now? Hey! Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm awake.
awake now. So basically I was asleep on my feet. Was I? See you then looking for water. Oh wait no. Wait, uh wait. How's it going? Oh, there she is! Quick! Let's see how she's doing. So what? That whole thing was a dream. We came in, we saw her, went out to look for water and then ended up there. So basically as soon as I came in, I was in the dream. Ah. Ah <sighs> so sweet. Mm. <laughs> what? Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? I... <laughs> uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Yeah. Whoa! Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. So, she didn't really need food. She had food already. And yet she sent a message saying that she hasn't ate for uh, three days. Who is there? Tainari, is that you? Nope. Uh, huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. That was already here. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. Oh, it must have been those little... Sp spirit... Wood woodland things that... That brought you food. Ah. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? <laughs> oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Can people here just stop hiding everything? You know what happened. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Well, I saw them twice already. Wait! Second traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? Uh, yes, but so are you just floating there. No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry, they mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. <laughs> so, they was the, the whole cause of that domain. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. 
I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. <laughs> It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them, but I never would have expected them to save me. Sounds like a great neighbor. <laughs> yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. And it sounds like you're hungry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. What about all that fruit? Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hepasia. They're our specialties after all. Mmm, <laughs> sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> and that was... When? I should have that food already made. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Uh... How? And it's supposed to be here. It's food. Why don't they be over here? Well, basically, apparently, I do not have them. It does suck. I should have the means to make them anyway. <laughs> make a lunchbox. Oh, that is how I'm making it. All done! Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing! And the box is a nice touch too! Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia! Hmm. So yeah, it had to be a box lunch. That's why it was in that section. You can't already have them and then just offer them. Would make sense though. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Well, here you go. It's food. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling Spiritborn Eel for the first time. 
It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. So what does that make me? You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit borneal primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermensoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. Yeah. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Borneal would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Borneal should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew! Well, that's a relief! I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. <laughs> Trust me, it's not nice. It's not good. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. Oh, they go mad from hunger. <laughs> That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm, while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hapasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. <laughs> and he seems happy about it. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Oh, is that true? Mm. Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes. If one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages, 
They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. <laughs> it was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recalled the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. <laughs> They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin's soul itself. Oh. Hmm. World forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. So that's the next stage. <laughs> Ah, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants outside food, <laughs> doesn't she? Now that we know her page is all right and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Page. Heading out, I see. If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Oh, so you're gonna stay here. Take care. Do remember to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Okay. This time I am not gonna I'm just gonna switch back to everyone who I mainly use. And just what will we come across this time? Afterwards I will I charge a higher work rate to on me someone outside else. the office. Off camera, not on camera because it Because I still gotta go for all the up the upgrades and all that. Which Yeah. Be a pain trying to get them all. Come on. There we go. Whee! Oh, go through. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? But it helps. As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Hey. If he goes to find the cure, who's going to stop it when it ha when the withering happens? He's here to stop it. So... Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. 
Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Well, he has other thoughts about that. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And he says do. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? Yeah, the master should be able to do it on his own. You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. Uh... Yeah, and being blunt... Being secretive about Levin is not the way to go about to get his help. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. So that's indefinitely. You're not leaving. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? <laughs> what am I coming for and how long am I going to be staying? You can't answer those questions, I ain't going. <laughs> if that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. As he said, come back when you have the answers. Well, what's for that luck? Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to... Sumeru City to assist them with a project, but I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. And we had a dream. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. No. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Hmm. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. What I am- Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise, so I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh... But, wait, before that... Yeah, we need to say goodbye. That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Yeah. 
farewell. And good luck to you both. Let's go to Kale. Okay, uh... Mm, there's nothing else here. Okay. Kale, I'm coming! You two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. Mm. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. It's fine. We'll treat you as a friend regardless. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Ooh, what? Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. Huh. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale! Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! Yay! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, Bid you both farewell. Please visit Gundarverville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Good. <laughs> Yay! I'm done. And I got a new recipe. Sweet! And now, I'm on my way to Sumeru uh. City. But I... Don't think I'll be. I won't be going there in this one because I'll be taking a break. But first things first. La, 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 la. Let's kill these guys and get to the war point and then I'll call it quits. So, hey, knock knock. Speed of light. I'm a calling. I'll be fine. What? I have no... Is that thing with us or just help? Don't be fine. Don't blink! Hey! Eh, no need. Everybody did. Okay. And we have... Huh. Let's appraise Stop. the value on this. Eh. Not much. Okay, and up we go. Oh. This is a side quest. Eh. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab it. And since no speaking, just zoom through it. Incoming! Ah. Kill with the mushrooms! Uh. Motion to compel! Die, mushrooms! With sword comes shadow! <laughs> She's actually fighting, don't <laughs> Unlike everyone else who 
No more. And has an NPC to actually fight with you. <laughs> that makes things very interesting. Incinerate! Skipping. So you could kind of stop and read about, eh. You know, basically, it probably is something story related. Really wish it was spoken now. It'll make things a lot easier. Did I just start? Whoa. Huh. Alright, fine. I'll get this done first before <coughs> I before I stop. Just hope it doesn't take that too long. wasn't going to be my last time dealing with him. So at least I know what to do with it. Where'd he go? There he goes. Oh, he's... Die! Oh, he's got a piece. He's a, an actual monster. That I'm dealing with. Okay. Motion to compel. And he also gives meat. So those. No, it's not. Incinerate. What can I only do when everything is dealt with? Speed of light! Hey! Cut to the chase! Oh, I'm the one up there. Do not come down here. I ain't in the mood. I'm just here to take these guys out. Get rid of the wyvern in this area. Incoming! Okay, is that... Yeah, it looks like all of them dealt with. So now I can switch. Yeah. And then I gotta make sure that I can actually deal with what comes next. Who's our target this time? Okay, so. Gimme. And then we shoot. Ow. Ow. That 
I don't like the fear. I don't like the fact that you attacks me. Ha. Ha. Oh well. Got it now. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> ah, stop it. Oh. I got a demon. I don't know what I did, but I got something. Time for your arraignment. Speed of light. Hey. Let's go. Burn him. Kill him. Is it kill him? Good. And now he's strong. Queen comes back. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Okay, so again, just skipping through lists and then. I can finally do what I was supposed to do. Which is get to the war point and then end it. Uh, am I not done yet? I'm, I'm finishing this I'm finishing this side quest that I, that I started <laughs> and since I finally got one now I'll, I'll just end it afterwards Ugh. as I can. And then I can get it done. Okay, it's still going. Oh, I'm I'm following her. Where are we going? Oh, she's talking to him over there. Okay, moving on. Let me grab this. Mine. So I'm basically just done on the patrol with you. Or something. <coughs> All right, again, speed through. Expecting it to be this long. If it was, I wouldn't have done it, and then I would have just done it my own time, but still. Uh. So, probably basically until I've got the whole map revealed. I might have to do a few of these. Because somewhere I'm going to get the dendro power. Or I'm going to get some kind of power. Where's dendro anyway? Spirit? Spiritual?
Even though maybe a fire icon is round because I have heard that somewhere. I think. Okay, come on, just leave it. Just hurry up and get it done. One go. All these kids. <laughs> Is it one of those things that you were talking about that I have to deal with now? So you're not taking the easy route and staying away from it. these things on the, on the way but it's not really always working plus it's only like ingredients anyway no, I don't want ingredients I want actual stuff some more of each of them. So I'm basically just talking about my adventures, is it? The kids want to know what I've been up to. So yeah, I could basically just say anything at this point, right? one done. Talk to another kid. Yeah, just say anything just to get through less quickly. Quickie. Quickly. Ah, uh, 
whatever. Just let me get through this already. Nice and quick. Okay, that's two kids done. That's one. And then am I done with this little side quest? Little side story? Side thing? Whatever! this quicker. I want to be done. Okay, come on. Hey, I'm done. Bye, kids. I'll tell you a nice act of yours, no. Okay, so hopefully I'm almost done. when the bit of the map that's not revealed yet. Still on a level of journey. Well, clean it up now. <laughs> Yeah. Enough. 
Deal with. Yeah, good job I've still got you along. Speed of light. Hey! Uh, but I'll have to incinerate. Do something there. Ow! Incoming. Motion to compel. Time for your arraignment. Speed of light. Hey! Okay, one down. With sword comes shadow. Get him! Incinerate! Gotta get him. Good. I got him. Don't blink! Boom! All of this. Done. Which and ah, still gets me. No, I, I did not say get him. Get some more. Okay, where did where'd they go? Go in. There. Now hit the one I'm a I aim for. To something else. <laughs> this is kind of weird. It's not. <laughs> there we go. It had to not be aimed. Speed of light. So aim it. Take this to that one. Why not? Incinerate. It's that one. Don't blink. That's weird. Cut to the chase. Take out the fungus. Motion to compel. Breath of the flame. Yeah. One more fungus. Speed of light. Hey. Fungus will die. Yeah. Boom boom. <sighs> Keep within the wall. Ah. Incoming. Ah. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Ow. Put it. Motion to compel. Ready. Time for your rape. Don't blink. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Go. Bring the green back. Don't tell me there's more. Hmm, <laughs> keep going. And he gets down there without touching the ground. Oh, 
I have to do a web. Speed of light. Last one is Just scrape your 
across the floor now at this point. Nowhere to hide. Good, it's dead. And now, be gone. River. Oh, what am I looking for? Really? Come on. Wanna be done with this? Please allow me to be done. these alligators ah oh, you're actually helping me this time Ready, thank you steady go <laughs> incoming hey and by the water basically they are vulnerable to control <laughs> don't blink <laughs> there we go nope no oh, there's one more left Okay, now they do. Ah, <laughs> uh, we done yet? This was gonna take this long. Uh, I'm sorry, this is gonna be a long one. Maybe. You know, I've got some things to chop out. It's a pineapple. Make me something. Maybe that cake. <laughs> okay. 
Light the fire! <laughs> what, we're making the curry? Skip through it. Hopefully, this is the last bit of all this. Can it be? the story. Okay, and are we done yet? Come on, enough already. <clears throat> I wouldn't be done, Renee. <laughs> now we take a little nap. <laughs> Everyone takes a nap. And the passage of time. <laughs> Okay, has there ever been a, a little side thing that actually does passage time like that? I don't think there has. I think that's the first. I need just tax on another one. I can do I can do a lot. I can probably do a lot ne next time. Uh, I'm find that lost child. Find that lost child and hopefully get I should be able to get to Steamer at by to Smurf City by the next one. So yeah, again. Sorry for it being kinda long. But yeah. Bye!